Hi, this is Jeff back with another project video. This is a vertical bookshelf made from some gorgeous walnut that I picked up from a local mill. The walnut that I used for this project, when I got it, it was very roughly dimensioned. So the first thing was to surface and dimension all of it uh, before we cut parts. There were several repetitive processes during this build. To keep the video short, I don't show all of them, but I try to show at least one example of each. And here we are surfacing and dimensioning the thicker walnut that's going to be used for the vertical spine of the bookshelf. Here we're milling the inset pattern that's decorative as well as the dados that the shelves fit into. One of the principles that I like to use when designing is to make the pieces where they can hold together and be solid with the least amount of screws or glue necessary or nails. So I like to use dados um, as a guide and try to keep the tolerances tight so that stuff snaps in and holds steady. The next step was to screw the piece down to the CNC bed because I was going to cut around the contour and didn't want to cut into the pieces that are holding it and have it move.
Going back to what I said earlier about designing so that the piece holds together without needing much in the way of screws or glue, uh, you can kind of see that in the assembly process here. With all the perpendicular dados, uh, basically just took one screw for each shelf and then I just used a, a finish nailer to nail the uh, back side of the shelf to the one beneath it. You'll see me marking the piece off camera. I was taking it over to the sander real quickly because this one piece had just a little bit extra to shave off to get it to line up perfectly even with the others. I know some people will probably cringe at the fact that I'm using the finish nailer so much on this piece. Uh, to be honest, I wouldn't normally, except that I was kind of in a hurry and this one's just going to be in my house. I'm not selling it to anybody, so I'm not too worried about it. All right, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.